Mike, let's talk a little Penn State. I know I'm wearing okay. baseball gear, but it is the season. But it is also great. It's Penn State season. What six and zero now for these guys? Six and zero, baby. But you know, one thing they're, they're two and zero in the Big Ten. But one thing I've noticed is both their, their Big Ten wins, Illinois and Purdue, are more finesse teams. Uh, so two points. One, they're playing Wisconsin this weekend. It's a big game, which is more like they're bringing in the horses, they're people. Bringing they're bringing the big uglies. Bringing the big uglies. Yeah, yeah. Bring, 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 Keith Jackson expression. Pin back your ears and get to knocking. Well, that's a good one. Thank I like you. that. How much was? Uh, it's great they won twenty six against Purdue, but were they looking ahead a little bit? And it's great to get the win, but how much was that a look ahead? I, I I don't think they were looking ahead. I, okay. I know what you're saying, and it's a, it's a reasonable, but I I don't think they were looking ahead because it was their first conference game on the road, uh-huh. uh, and and I think it was almost inevitable that they were going to have one of these games where they move the ball but have a hard time converting it into points, where they have a hard you know the red zone conversion is not quite. What what you would want it to be, and and I think that's I think that's what happened. I think it's, it, they've been scoring so easily, yeah, moving the ball so easily, and converting it into points so easily. It was almost inevitable that they were going to have a game like that, and they still won pretty comfortably. So was it good that they had a game like that where it, everything didn't go as well as they wanted? They were slipping a lot for whatever. They were wearing the wrong cleats out there know. or something. I don't know because Purdue was not slipping. Right, so, I, mean, I was thinking maybe they had the wrong the wrong spikes in there or something. I don't know. Evan Royster probably had an extra fifty yards if he kept they kept falling down. So he's, he's been Stephon really good. Green's another one. Yeah. Those. He's scary good. And he brought him in like the third quarter, Stefan Green. Yeah, because I think because Royster changed, was so good. They, they changed just, the pace. But, yeah, and, and as soon as they put him in, what, he exploded. I mean, yeah. they, they really have a lot of good skill position kids. And remember, they did it without Jordan Norwood, who even having missed two games is still their leader in pass receptions and in receiving touchdowns. That's impressive. It will and be, he will be back. He will be back. He could have okay. played last week. Okay. I think that was a real play it close to the vest precautionary thing. Okay. Wisconsin is having a pretty good year as well. Uh, they've had some close games against Michigan, upset them a few weeks ago. Well, they ago. lost two in a row. They had a 19 nothing lead against Michigan and blew it on the road. Last week they lost at home to Ohio State in what was really a good game. I thought both teams played well, and, and really Terrell Pryor was the difference. He's good. And he may be the difference when, when Penn State plays Ohio State. Um, but What to look for here? Well, Wisconsin lost two in a row. So now, now are, are they going to be back against the wall, play with desperation, or are they going to be kind of devastated? Uh, they're at home. It's a very tough place to play. It's a great place to go. I, I'm looking forward to this trip. Uh, it's one of the great college towns in America. Um, but they are a big physical team. Penn State's offensive line, for example, very good offensive line, but more they're more technicians than real bulldozer power type guys. Mm-hmm. So it'll be interesting to see how they match up with uh, Wisconsin's front seven, which is real good. Uh, it, it could be a, it could be not one of these fly up and down the field, run up great stats kind of things. Um, and it'll be interesting to see if um, Daryl Clark runs the ball a little more than he has Penn State's quarterback because he really has focused on getting it down the field, throwing down the field. He may run a little more. He may be able to run a little more. Now it's about just getting the yards you need and just getting this win. Yeah, we're, we're not, uh, you know, the, the the prep time is over and and what we're going to show, worrying about what we're going to show next week's opponent on film, yeah. that's over now. Good. Well, I'm looking forward to the game. It should be a fun time. Have a good trip. I'll try.